Hello and welcome to this demo on BitLocker and device encryption in Windows 11. In this video, we will explore how to secure your data using these powerful encryption tool. So let's get started and let's switch to our Windows 11 VM. Now here we are connected to our Windows 11 VM and you have used this BitLocker and device encryption in Windows 10, but specifically here in this video, we are going to talk about this technology and this encryption feature in Windows 11 because you know BitLocker is a full disk encryption feature included with Windows 11 Pro and Enterprise Edition. It helps protect your data by encrypting the entire disk, making it inaccessible without proper authentication. This ensures that even if your device is lost or stolen, your sensitive data remains secure. Now to checking the device encryption setting, we're going to navigate to right click to the start like we does while we're exploring some system options. So let, let's right click here and click to the settings. And once you start seeing the settings options on the screen, then click to the system. And here on the system, you should scroll down and go to the about and once you click to the about, then you will start seeing the options and description like the product ID and each and everything. So here you can see that you have the option BitLocker that does what the device encryption to help protect your data. So you can click here on the big BitLocker and it will navigate you to another window. So right now you can see that the BitLocker is off and you can see the current status of your device encryption. But there is a way you can turn on this encryption on your machine. But you need to select the drive to encrypt and click on turn on the BitLocker like that. And you need to choose how to unlock the drive, password or USB key. It's, it's upon your requirement and what you prefer. And then you can save the recovery key securely and start the encryption process. Now here, we can use the USB drive to save the recovery key. Or you can use, you know, the password to, you know, do the same. And here, we, I have inserted the USB. And here it is asking to connect it to the virtual machine. And yes, we are going to go with that. Now this USB will be connected to, you know, our VM, the Windows 11 VM. And right now we're not going to turn on the bit clocker on the USB at this moment. What we are going to do is to turn on the bit clocker on our C drive, the drive that contain the Windows system. Okay, so it says what that there is some bootable drive, media DVD is currently inserted to the system so we have to remove that so surely we can remove it and what we have done just go to the drive because we are connected to the VM so there are several ways to get rid of the media from your VM one is to remove the DVD or the CD drive from your VM specs or you can do what you can right click to the drive and eject that media and in this way it could fulfill the requirement of the bit locker. And here you can see that it is verifying the system requirement. Now, what it says, how do you want to back up your recovery key? So there are several options, you know, and you can see the list of these options. First one is to save to your Microsoft account, save to a file or print the recovery key. So you can go for any option that suits you best and you seems that this is good and convenient for you. But right now we are going to go with save to a file because we have inserted a USB and connected to a VM. So let's go to the save a file. And here let's click to the USB. And here we already created a folder RK where we are going to save our recovery key, then click next. And here's another option, what it says, that choose how much of your drive to encrypt. If you are setting a bit locker on a new drive or PC, you only need to encrypt the part of the drive that's currently being used. BitLocker encrypts new data automatically as you edit it. 
If you enable BitLocker on a PC or drive that's already in use, consider encrypting the entire drive. Encrypting the entire drive ensures that the whole data is protected, even that you delete it, but that might still contain revertible info. So here it says that if you go for the PC, that behaves the same for you, but the best and the recommended option is what entire use. This is space only should be the good option because if you encrypt the whole entire drive that will take a lot of time and this user space part will be faster and best for the new PCs and the drives so let's go for this option at this moment click next and then it will take its necessary time to encrypt the use part of your disk and here's the option that which encryption mode you want to use. So the new encryption mode, which is best for fixed drives on this device. So let's go with this new method. And then you can click to run BitLocker system check. So are you ready to encrypt this drive? So let's click here and go for the process because BitLocker will restart your computer before encrypting. So let's continue. And now it says that you need to restart the machine. So this is the process and these are the configuration and steps that you need to take in order to encrypt your use part of your drive. So once you see this option, then it means the encryption is being done. So let's click to the restart now.